Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I thought you might like to see um, a few of the products that I've been using from bbcraft.com. If you remember, I did an unboxing on some products that I'd been sent to try from them. And I've been having a little bit of a play and really enjoying getting into some little bit of different crafting bits and pieces. And I thought you might like to just see what I've been up to. So um, I started off and uh, today I'm going to show you how I made this lovely little pendant. It's a little bit big for a keychain really, but I have put a keychain on it. But you could use ribbon or whatever. But it is an owl sticker, but I've made him 3D. So when he is uh, hung up, you can see he's like flying away. And I thought, oh, that's really cute. Uh, it's something I've been wanting to try for a while. And the opportunity came up when I got these stickers. Uh, let me just move those out of the way a second. So if you remember from the unboxing, and I'll put a link to the unboxing down below. And I do have a BB Craft playlist as well. So if you want to have a look at that. Um, I got five packs of these owl stickers and on the website when I got them they were $9.19 which is an excellent value and it's basically a set of six different owl stickers with your little pen button wax um, which is how you put your little gems, your diamonds onto your stickers and a full set of the drills, these um, gems that you have. So I thought, right, I've got five sets and I thought, right, OK, I can do one and I can, I can use them for giveaways or for presents for people. And then I thought, hmm, when I used to use peel off stickers back in the day with my card making, we used to put three peel off stickers together to make a 3D effect. And like this Lovely. owl. And I thought, I wonder if it will work with diamond painting. Now, I wasn't sure because obviously they're a slightly different medium. Um, they're a lot heavier. And I didn't know whether they would be bendable enough to do it. But I thought, right, I'm going to have a go. And when I ordered these, my idea was that I was going to use these as coasters. Now, yes, these rounds, again, they came in the pack from BB Craft. This was like a, a starter set and it was a set of six of the round, like uh, wooden rounds and then six of the square with the rounded corners. They actually call them um, self-adhesive cork sheets with wood cabochons for DIY coasters and cork board squares. So you also get with the set of the six, well, you get 12 altogether, six of six of each design uh, you get the little cork mats which are self-adhesive to pop on the back so if you are using them as coasters then it gives you your extra insulation and stops them from being quite so slippy and i thought right well i can use the owl stickers and they will make a nice set of six coasters so you can do them either in the square or the round and then once I've done the sticker and put the sticker on here, then as I've done on this, I've just literally used some spare gems that I had and started at the outside and done a full circle round. Then I've done a full circle again, going smaller and smaller until I got to the inside part of the coaster, of the design. And uh, then I've just sort of slotted in the gems so that the whole coaster is covered or the whole project in this case because it is a bit you couldn't really put a cup on this <laughs> the whole um picture is covered and you've got your full coaster to be able to then just seal it and that's that was my initial idea but because i thought i wonder if this will work as it did with peel off stickers then that's what i've decided to do and as I say, I mean, I've put a little chain on this. You can use it as a decoration. Uh, you could actually do it double sided. I think I will actually fully cover the back on this as well. I don't like the fact that it's just a plain back. If you're going to have it, say, I mean, if you get Christmas stickers, you could use it as a Christmas decoration. But if you're going to have it hanging, then I think it would be quite nice 
to have something on the back rather than it just being plain. But I was just playing about just to see what we could actually do with these. And I'm really pleased how that's turned out. I think the the drills, the, the gems have fitted in really well. It's fitted really well around the stickers because obviously I was thinking, well, when I get to the middle, um, will I have enough room to get the uh, gems in? Uh, will it look silly? But no, I think it looks really good. In hindsight, I think I wish I'd put maybe one or two rows of possibly this darker pink colour just to add like a border around it. Possibly not right on the edge, although maybe right on the edge would have looked quite nice. But as it is, as I say, I've used up some of my spare gems, which if you do diamond painting and you really get into doing diamond painting, you will end up with a lot of spares. I just thought that was something a little bit different. So I'll show you how I've made my little owl. I won't bore you by doing the whole of the edging. I think you can see how I've actually done that. Just started at one point and gone all the way around with them. But I think that's come out really, really effective. And I do like the 3D effect. Um, so I am from a card making background. I got into diamond painting through doing cards. And I just, uh, yeah, like to mix and match sometimes. You can actually buy these like plastic domes as well. These aren't the right size, albeit they are. I mean, the domes do fit over the top of the coasters, but they would need to be a little bit smaller and a little bit deeper. But you could actually, if you had one that size, uh, you can get them in a lot of craft shops. I couldn't find any on BB Crafts website at the moment, but they do stock a massive amount of stuff. So it may be something that if you look out for future um, and then just cover that over. And you could actually then, if you had one on each side, oops, let me just get, that's two there, look. These are very thin, they aren't uh, brilliant, these ones. That's probably why I've still got them, because I've not used them. <laughs> They're not quite as deep as I wanted them to be. You could encase him in there, look, and uh, have another, oops, I've got two there as well. Why have I picked up two? Oh, everything's going two by two today, silly me. <laughs> So yeah, you could actually fasten those together and have him encased in there, look, as a little 3D ornament. And you could put another one on the back as well. Uh, now, obviously, I've only got two pink ones left because I've just got the two packs left. Or you could buy more than one pack. Or you could put a different colour owl on the back. And then you've got like a proper ornament. But again, a great idea for Christmas for making ornaments and that's something to get the kids involved with as well and you could actually then if you are sealing this together um put some little spare beads in or some glitter or something and make it so that when you shake it you've got movable bits inside as well so that's another idea something possibly i will do for future um, I am thinking I will do this actually for Christmas things, but at the moment, as I say, I've just been having a play with my little owls because they're very, very cute. The colours on them are really, really pretty. So that is my little owl. Okay, so let's go back to basics. Uh, for anybody that's not done diamond painting before, um, you do get your little toolkit, and this is all you need to do your diamond painting. Everything that you get in your kit, the only extra you ever need with, I would say, most diamond painting kits is a pair of scissors just to open your little packets. Now, if you're anything like my daughter, she does sometimes use her teeth. Please don't do that. <laughs> it just, it's like nails down a blackboard, people opening things with the teeth to me. But that's just me. Okay, so all you then do with this... Take your little tray out, because we need your tray to put your little gems in. First of all, oops, we just move these out of the way. Let's get a bit of room going on here, Liz. What is going on? You want some wax into your pen. Now, basically, this is like a pickup tool. So what you're doing is putting something sticky in the end here so that you can pick up your gem and put it down onto your canvas or your project you're working on. And whatever is in this pen needs to be slightly less sticky than what's on your project so that when you put it onto the sticky part of your project, it comes off your pen. Okay, 
let's just uh, give this a go so you have this red wax it does have a covering on both sides that keeps it nice and soft um, and also clean because this is a little bit sticky so you can tend to find if you left the cover off you might get bits of fluff or in my case because I've got like a little milly moo get little bits of dog fluff and things on it and then you just literally pick up let's put it on this side here look take your pen and I just literally push it into the wax and then as you can see you end up with a little hole going all the way through the wax there and if you can see you've got a little bit of pink wax in your pen. Now that should be sticky enough to pick up your gems. And what you can find sometimes, um, and I tend to find it's mainly with when the you get crystal gems and things, that sometimes they have a little bit of dust on. And that dust can then make this a little bit less tacky. So you do need to change out your wax or add more wax to your pens from time to time. It varies on how hard you press when you put your gem down um, and what you're working on and what your gems are like. So let's have a look and we'll just do a little bit on this owl here. Okay, let's just zoom in slightly. Okay. So we can see what we're doing, that's better. Right, so we want number four. So we look in our packets of gems. I have um, obviously used some of the gems already because I have done the uh, purple, oops, I have done the purple, the orange, and then the pink owl already. So I have used some of my packs of gems. And what I do, is I get my little packet, let me grab a pair of scissors, that would be handy Liz. And I want number four. And if you look on your little packets, um, this is the canvas or the project number. So that relates to, if you look on the little set of uh, stickers or the little cover sheet that came with the, you can see there, look, that you've got the number here, LD, 0096 and that's LD0096 so you know that each pack of these gems these drills belongs to this project and then if you look on your project they are all numbered and this one's got number one at uh, number five number four number seven and oh it did have the black ones as well I can't remember what the number of that one was what was the number and number two on it as well, which is the black gem. I have done a couple of little bits on these already as I already had the gems out. So we look for the packet um, and this is number four. So we want packet number four there. So we'll get these gems. Now it's entirely up to you how you do this, but this is the way I do it at the moment. So I just cut the little top off put my gems into my tray and then I've got myself a little grip seal bag and um, some of the toolkits do occasionally come with little grip seal bags that you can use uh, so these are some that I already had these are a little bit bigger and then I cut the front off with the number on off the little packet oh look that drill's just stuck on there get out okay so Rather than, I mean, you can work from the little packets if you wish and just sellotape them up or staple them up or clip them. But I tend to find I like them in the grip seal bags better. And then so that I know which drill this one is or which gem this one is, I put the little number in the bag there and then you can see what you've got. So then if you take your gems and give them a shake in the tray, just a gentle shake, then you'll see that some of them will line up the right way around so you've got the dome on the top and the flat bit on the bottom so then we're going to oops, move that out of the way there move my scissors as well okay so then what we're going to do is move peel back the cover sheet now these cover sheets do have a right and a wrong way around so be careful if you do fully peel off this cover sheet and put it back down the wrong way around then you may find that it will take the glue off your project because even though it looks exactly the same both sides, I've learnt from um, a sad experience that putting it down the wrong way um, can pull the glue off because the wrong way doesn't have like a coating on it to stop it from sticking to the glue on the project. Now, 
this side here, all these bits around your project aren't actually sticky, but these bits are. Anything with a number on is sticky. So all then you do is pop your little pen into your tray, pick up your gem. You don't need to use much pressure at all and you're just going to literally pick it up and place it down. And it's as easy as that. And I find this motion, this actual way of crafting just so relaxing. It is also a great leveller as well because everybody's project will end up looking wonderful even if you're not real artistic and um, even if you're not good at drawing good at painting anything like that or good at sewing uh, as long as you can hold a pen or hold your little pickup tool then you can just literally go around and all you're doing is putting your gems on top of your numbers sorry i'm going a little bit slow here because normally um, i have a magnifying light that i use and i'm doing this a little bit blind as it were because i've got really bad eyesight um but yeah even i can do this and you just go around on your project putting your little gems on until you've done all of the number fours and then once i've done all of the number fours here i'll open my little bag your tray's got a little spout in the end there so you can just tip all those into your little bag and seal those up. Now, if I suddenly come back and think, oh, I've missed one, I take one out of my little bag and put it onto my project. And that's what I've done with these. And then you just move, once you've done that colour, then I'd maybe move on to number one and I'd tip number one into my tray and work that way. Okay, and that's what I've done with these, the orange and the purple owl. And I've done it on each of the three different ones. So I can show you how I made my 3D project. Uh, it is a little bit easier if you want to do all of them at once because obviously you don't have to open all the packets. Um, I've got quite a few of the colours in here already so I can just literally use these colours on these. If I've already opened a packet, I've already got some in here. Okay, so that's basically the premise of diamond painting. You are just literally picking up little gems with a sticky pick-up tool, with a sticky pen and putting them down onto a sticky surface. Uh, the pen lets go and the gem stays on the sticky surface. And then you end up with your sticker and you can do whatever it is that you want to do with them. Stick them on books, stick them on coasters, make them into bookmarks, make them into decorations, whatever you want to do. And these have got little clear edges on them. So they don't have the white edge. So once it's done, it's a nice clear edge there. I think you can see that, yep, yeah, we've got clear back in so that's wonderful okay now i have sealed these uh, little owls because i am going to be manipulating them as it were <laughs> um so that i can fold them to make them into a 3d little stand-up one um now if you don't seal them and you don't have to, but I would recommend it. Anything that's likely to be picked up and handled or touched a lot, really, you need to be put in like a covering, a coating, or it's, uh, it's called a diamond painting sealer over the top of it. You can use Mod Podge as well. Um, the clear Mod Podge is quite good for that because these gems, they are stuck down. They're not going to come off. If it was just going to be stuck on a picture on a wall or something, it's not going to come off, but it is still movable so if you knocked it you know if you put something on top of it and it drags it will move those gems whereas if you use your sealer it's like grouting tiles and the sealer goes in between the gems and locks them in place so then if you try moving them and i'm putting quite a bit of force behind that those gems are not going anywhere they are sealed I do have quite a few uh, videos on sealing projects and sealing diamond paintings and things. If you look in my playlists, you will be able to see that. Um, and I will be doing a future video on sealing as well. So I've now got my three uh, owls and I've got three of the orange owls. Now, my, as I say, my original idea for these was to get six coasters and put one of each owl in the middle of the coasters and have a set of six. So, oh, <laughs> just knock that one out of the way. It's just flown off a little bit. It's obviously got sick of waiting or sick of listening to me. I'm not quite sure which. 
So you just peel your sticker off, say it's got a clear background, and then just pick up your whatever it is you're putting it onto. In this case, I've got a coaster. Try and centre it into the middle and just stick him down. Okay. Now, obviously, the problem with that is if you're wanting to use this now as a coaster, you've got like a raised bit in the middle. So that's why you really need to use any spare gems you have. You can buy them separately as well, but as if you are a diamond painter, you will, as you do projects, end up with spares, um, or you can go onto different um, Facebook groups. And in some places you can actually, um, people will send you some of their spares. If, if you say, oh, you need a colour, has anybody got any spares? Then, you know, quite often people will send you spares as well. And I've, I've sent quite a few out to people myself. So then, as I say, because this isn't now flat all the way around, that's why I would suggest just fully covering it all the way around so that it is a flat surface to then put your mug or your cup or your glass or whatever onto. Otherwise, you know, you, you're going to put something on there and it's going to cockle over. And with the best will in the world, yeah, if you're clumsy like me, it'll go everywhere. <laughs> Now, if you're just wanting to, say, use it as a little decoration, um, thinking about it now, I mean, you could literally use these as little hanging decorations. You know, you could put loops, say, three together and put three different owls on, just loop them with either string or ribbon um, or a little bit of chain and hang it. And you've got like a little mobile to hang with them on. Uh, you wouldn't need to then put gems all the way around the edge if you didn't want to. Now, if you like the wood effect, great, nothing wrong with that. But you could either say colour in, if you've got uh, a brown marker pen, and I would say probably in permanent markers, because this is a porous, uh, porous surface, unless you're going to put like a base coat on so that you can then colour over the top. But you could put, say, a tree branch or something and have a tree here um, and a bit of sky and clouds in the background or you could just put a flat colour in the background to match it, or a little bit of, say, shiny mirror card or something like that. So, you know, you can decorate them, and it's up to you if you want to decorate both sides. I mean, obviously, with this set, you've got 30 owls to play with, so, you know, there's quite a bit to go with. <laughs> if you wanted to do six coasters, you've got 30 owls and doing 12 sides. In fact, you could do the other six as well. Yeah, you could. So, yeah, you could do all of your coasters with your owls. And, I mean, if you're wanting to fundraise, then that's a great way of fundraising or presents for people, doing little sets of coasters or little pictures. I mean, I do think they're quite nice as a little picture because the stickers, with them being a, a biggish sticker, they do just fit nicely onto these little set rounds, don't they? Okay, now, the thing that I've done with this that I forgot to do um, when I first put my gems on, started putting my gems on, I forgot to put the hole through, so I had to stamp it through um, with, I have got a, a decent hole punch, fortunately, but I forgot to punch it through um, before I put the gems on, so I had to stamp through both uh, layers. Uh, so I would suggest that if you are going to turn them into decorations, put your holes in first <laughs> and then put your gems on. <laughs> Just makes life that little bit easier. If you are turning them into coasters, then you do get your cork backings as well with these little wooden coasters the uh, white just peels off so it is just like a little sticky surface under there so you'll just peel that off and then stick that onto there and it just makes it uh, a little bit more insulated to go on your furniture and stops it from being quite so slippy as well but i think they're excellent really good value and if you've got any um other coasters that you've got that are diamond painting ones and they don't have the cork backs then bb craft do sell the cork backs as well separately so you can um, buy these to put on your other coasters that you've got i think they're well worth having to be fair but i don't know what i'm going to be doing with him yet i may turn him into a decoration or i may turn him into a coaster i don't know if I am going to turn them into a coaster, then I am going to have to use, there's only this one and diamond dots, as far as I'm aware, that do this like magic glue, as uh, craft buddy call it. And that's where you put this glue on very thinly. You don't need a lot of it. And it then makes whatever you put this onto tacky. And it stays tacky until you've put something onto it. So it's like the surface of your stickers. It basically will turn this wood into a surface 
that oops is tacky like these stickers or like your diamond paintings so it's well worth uh, investing in some and i see you don't need a lot of it so to make this what i actually did was cover the whole of the surface right up to the edges as well because again it has got a clear edge but i actually put the tacky uh, i actually put the magic glue over those edges of those stickers and as you can see the gems have stuck as well right up to the edge so you don't end up with a border around your decoration unless you want one of course and then you know you can do that and it's just allowed me to fully cover it but once you have used this i would then again suggest sealing the whole of the project so that it's like grouted so that it's solid uh, your gems aren't going to come off and obviously it's going to make it that little bit wear proof as well okay so let's get on to making our little 3d decoration so i've got my hole punched into my round already and you first of all need to take one of your three items i've done this a lot with butterflies in the past and i've not tried it with owls before and i've certainly not tried it with diamond painting before and you need to fold him lightly in half so that you're going to be symmetrical when you put your sticker on okay now you can either put it straight down now so i'll just try and line it up in the middle and try and line it with your little hole there and pop him on or you can do it holding him it's entirely up to you how you do it okay just need to get that a little bit more centered there now they do need to be identical shapes so that when you put one next to the other they do all fit um completely together so they do all fit together so then what i'm going to be doing let me just zoom in a little bit again is now i'm going to be matching up that wing there and that oops you have to excuse me as i say my eyesight's not brilliant need that wing there that ear there and that foot there all lined up uh, try and get it as even as possible as you can and then again you're going to be folding it again in half i mean if let's say if you wanted to just do it as two you can do it just two and then obviously you'll get more out of one sheet but i just like the effect of the three so that you've got the whole one in the middle okay so let's just peel him off here oops they're a little bit tacky on the edges because i have been I have sealed them and I just sealed over the top of the sticker as well. So let's make sure that's not stuck down there. So, and it is just a case of playing about until you do get it exactly lined up like that and like that and like that with that foot. And then we're going to squash those two together. If you can see that put those two together so the background is like making up one owl and then the top is making up the other owl and then you end up with a little 3d owl so isn't he sweet yay and then you can put whatever you like around the edge as i say i did wish that with the, the pink owl that i'd put a pink edging all the way around that one so i think i'm going to use my spare um, purple gems and put a layer possibly put a white layer and then put a purple just a purple layer around just to add a little bit more interest and then i'll have two little owl projects so i'm, I'm really pleased that this works because i wasn't sure it would um, and I have got quite a few like flowers and I have got quite a few butterflies as well that are stickers, uh, diamond painting stickers. So I think that will work really well. And then just a little bit of ribbon or whatever once he's done. So I'm going to cover him now with, um, with the magic glue and show you how that works. Let me just grab 
my little brush. I have got a little teeny tiny brush. This is a Decker Patch brush. Um, BB Craft do sell brushes as well. I want a nice little mat to stand on. Right, let me just grab my glass mat. Okay, I'll just move those out of the way. Do you know this desk seems to have shrunk? <laughs> And then I'm just going to put some of this magic glue over this because you do have to leave it for a little bit so that it goes clear um, before that it is completely tacky. If you're not going to work on it straight away, I would suggest, um, I mean, even use something like this just to cover it over. So if you do have pets or kids or whatever in the house, then uh, you're not... It's not going to be uh, getting dust or fluff on it because like a diamond painting, if you're leaving something tacky, uh, open to the elements, it is with the best will in the world going to get something on it. Uh, this is where my little uh, plastic tweezers come in handy as well because you can hold it with the tweezers whilst uh, you're putting your glue on and whilst you're painting your glue on and then you don't get glue all over your fingers. Yay! That's the theory anyway. So I'm just going to put a little tiny bit on as i say it does go an awful long way um and you don't really want a too thick a layer on because you are going to be sealing it afterwards as well so i'm just going to put some on i'm going to put it right up to these drills on here as well it does dry clear so don't worry if you do go over a little bit um just putting it on roughly and then i'm going to use uh, a brush just to uh, even it all out this is uh, how I do it. Just make sure it goes completely on the edge. Now, the other thing I did think as well is actually putting gems because this is quite a nice wide uh, border on these um, coasters. So I thought it's actually wide enough to put a whole gem going all the way around the edge. So that's something I might do as well to actually uh, just bling it up a little bit more and use up a few more of my spare gems, put a blingy edge all the way around. If you are using them as coasters, when you do seal the top, I would suggest sealing the edges as well. And it'll just stop moisture getting into uh, the wooden part there on the edge. Okay, as I say, this does stay tacky. So it's not like you're in a race to make sure you get it done uh, before it all dries off. Right, where did I put my lid? There it is, I've just knocked it over. <laughs> and then I've just got this little brush and I'm just going to go around and make sure that this is fully covering all of this coaster, this little wooden bit all the way around. And then once uh, it's, it goes clear and it's just tacky and not wet, then I will, oops, I have put too much on as usual. I don't know what it is. I always seem to be wholesale on this. I always put far too much on and you don't need a lot of it. But once it is, uh, as I say, tacky and not wet i can then start putting my gems on again so i will then have another one okay now i've got so much on this that i think i'm going to transfer it and use it on the other one as well because you do not need a lot okay and i say i will be sealing over the top of it so try and keep it as even as possible these tweezers are great for doing this job now as you can see I've got far too much on my brush still, so I will just lift him off and I'm just going to use the spare to go around on this one because I am going to put gems on this one as well. So we'll see how far we get doing this and see if we need any extra. Again, going right up to the edges because I am going to be putting gems on that clear edging and I'm really pleased that it does stick on that clear edging as well. Just want a little bit more do tend to, to be honest, start and put it, oops, it's not wanting to come out now. I'm trying to not put much on at all, put it on the edge because that is where it's likely to uh, be a bit thinner if you don't uh, put it on properly and you do need your edges to be fully covered. Okay, so we'll just go around to say that you don't need a lot of it. Right. Hopefully, um, say BB Craft do do an awful lot of different craft supplies. And as they start getting more diamond painting things in, um, since I first looked at the company before Christmas uh, and then ordered from them after Christmas, 
uh, they have got a lot more of the diamond painting type items in. So hopefully they might get more of the accessory type things in as well. So that is now covered as well. So I need to clean my brush and then leave those to dry so that I can then put some gems on and it would just literally be exactly the same as I did with the sticker. Just grabbing my pen, grabbing my gems and just starting at a spot. And so I start on the edge and work all the way into the middle and then just go around the different design in the middle and we'll see where we end up. Hopefully we'll have a purple uh, little, a little decoration like the pink one. Um, I mean, I say you could... Uh, you could put them two together or you could put, uh, let's say, double-sided. But I think these are really pretty. I'm really pleased with how it came out. Right. Okay. Well, huge thank you to BB Craft for sending me these to show you. Um, I hope you've enjoyed looking at all these with me and seeing this little idea. Uh, if you have, as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Let me know in the comments, have you tried doing anything like this before? And uh, how do you think the little stickers have turned out, turning them into like a little 3D project? There are quite a few special offers on, let's say, BB Craft at the moment. So bbcraft.com, uh, go and check out the website. There is some special offers on until the 20th of March. And I'll put screenshots of those so you can go and have a look and take advantage of those special offers. Let's say they're getting more and more diamond painting things as time goes on. That's me done for now. Um, I'm going to go and finish all these little bits of projects off and tidy up a little bit as well. Because I think uh, Hubby's going to be wanting his tea and it is starting to get dark outside. So, yeah, it's definitely uh, tea time. <laughs> Okay, I say if you have enjoyed this and you want to come back and see some more projects and see what we get up to next, then if you press that subscribe down in this corner here and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up so you won't miss anything. Yay! Okay, thank you ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.